This is dope. Watch this. <laughs> nice. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Willis Brothers React. Today we're reacting to a very special episode, something that was not created by us, but that was created by Mr. Timothy Bulethy. What's Jim up, guys? Timothy Bulethy? Hey. <laughs> do you have any, uh, what do you want to say about this before we get started? Um, so, like you guys, of course, we all had just immensely wonderful delusions of grandeur about what we were making every single time we would make these films, which is let's be honest that's the charm of them now especially as an adult like you just love your big ideas so this is kill buell volume one and we were joking earlier off mic about like how there's so many chapter ones or part ones or whatever this i i fully intended to make volume two at some point and this it's only a couple minutes long which is laughable oh got a little, a little visitor here sorry um <laughs> cute but I had, as of this filming of this movie, I had not seen Kill Bill yet. I had just seen the trailer a bunch of times. <laughs> I did not know that. Yes. I oh, saw wow. it shortly after I made this. Like, I, 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 I saw it. I wasn't supposed to, but I saw it. And <laughs> I was shocked at how just, like, so dead wrong I had any of the plot <laughs> and how I realized I just, again, delusions of grandeur. I was like, it's fine. I know, I know what he's going for. I, I can do it. I can rip it off. And so, yeah, this was shot with my younger brother, Jesse, and then his friend, Austin, uh, both of who are like 10 or less. So, you know, there, there's no way they had seen the film or even the trailer. I think I maybe showed my brother the trailer. So keep that in mind as we watch this. And uh, yeah, I'll share more thoughts after, I'm sure. I've only seen the trailer for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but I feel like I get it. So I kind of understand what you're- Yeah, he, Philip knows what I'm going for. Yeah, yeah. 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 All, right. All right, all right, let's watch let's, let's do it. Thing. Let me have it. <laughs> I, of course, used all the music somehow that I found online. Is that uh, like Martinelli's? I think it was honestly like some sort of, oh boy, some sort of juice, oh, juice. maybe a little like, <laughs> maybe a little soda mixed in. Sh sugar bear? Sugar bear. Yeah. Sugar spelled wrong. <laughs> Black Jack. <laughs> spelled wrong on purpose, got it. No, I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had a spelling question on one of your other videos that I previewed Excellent. too. No, Blackjack no, was, was on like purpose, but the yeah. other one was not. Sugar was not. Okay. Yeah, no, Sugar was definitely sugar. not on purpose. That's funny. All right, guys. Cool. Show me what you got. Baby face. <laughs> Wait, how many cards are they holding? It doesn't Jeez. matter, really. <laughs> how many cards? Oh, which game are they playing? And I said you cheated. Hey, Blackjack, what you throwing down? Not throwing anything. Well, I think I'm lost. Oh! Damn! Oh! <laughs> Stone Cold! Oh. I mean, the plot seems so similar to what I yeah. remember from I, Kill I don't, Bill. I don't see any differences. <laughs> Volume 1. More to come. Hell yeah. I mean, if there's two more to come, like, I can't. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is like, is, is he supposed to be at a hospital? Gonna wake up. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, so that line right there, he didn't understand the inflection. And he was supposed to, he was, in the trailer, she goes, don't you ever wake up. And he goes, won't you ever wake up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why did you redo it? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I think I was fine with it. Oh, okay, yeah. Nathan. Right. You are going to say that? After no, no. I, I'm saying if he's like calling this. him out, I'm just wondering. Yeah. I love that he's in his bed with his shoes on. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So dope. Why did he have, like, the blanket pulled up like that? <laughs> I think... <laughs> no, she was nipples. <laughs> no nips. What's this? You got the sugar bear. <laughs> sugar bear? It's Buell. Uh, I got a job for you. I want you to uh, take out Blackjack. What is this vague it's accent I'm doing? <laughs> Sounds good. I'm willing to pay. Done. I'll get back to it. All right. Nice doing business with you again, sugar. <laughs> I sound like some white trash gangster, dude. <laughs> Calling hits. I am proud of this. From Room the service. Park. Okay, yeah. this is this is <laughs> dope. Watch this. <laughs> nice. Come on, that was sick. That part's yep. not from the movie. Room service, <laughs> garage. That part's step. Yeah, in the garage. <laughs> you want you dead. That's funny. I want you oh snap! 
Ooh. Nice. These are some Big wooden fight. lightsabers. Which these were great for like doing like stunt stuff, you know, like yeah. but not for <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh jeez. You should just go over it and make them lightsabers for that scene. <laughs> that takes so much work though. I don't know, I can do it pretty quick. Yeah. I could probably it'd probably be a day, but I could do it. <laughs> it, it just for the novel. All... No, end of volume one. Nice. Oh boy. Well, if you do that, I'll put it in there. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the video somewhere. And you've got to have the obligatory credit filmed on location in Simi ah, Valley, in case nice. you're curious. You know what, though? So so your films ha had like a, a quality to them that ours did not have. It had a higher quality to it. Like you thought about your shots a lot more. Uh, you choreographed stuff a lot better. You kind of thought like, what do I actually want to happen in this scene? You didn't just go, uh, I'm going to say a line. Okay, then cut. All right, now you say a line. What am I going to say? I don't know. Just say something in response to the thing I said. Uh, you, you had more of a structure to your film. I appreciate that. It's so funny because now I don't I don't necessarily like I do see it that way because I know I came from a place of like wanting to be a filmmaker, you know, so everything was like a lot more like how how would uh, you know, how would Martin Scorsese? Well, back then it was probably like how would Tarantino, how would Shyamalan do it? You know, something yeah, like yeah. that. And so part of that, I think, was like me just like r ripping off what I felt was good. But I can look back now and see the charm in it and go, wow, this is cringy from an adult's po point of view. But at the time, this some of this was really ahead of what I should have been doing because I, I think I was visualizing it. So even yeah. though they're cringy and they're super corny, I do have this appreciation for like young me. Because like, you know, I'll watch like like the little gunshot scene. I'm like, ah, that's dope. If I yeah. saw that in a little kid's movie, I'd be like, oh, so awesome, you know? But stuff ages, you know? And it's just yeah. really funny to look back and be like, this was so well intentioned, but again, you know, yeah, I definitely. had no budget for this. I had, right. I hadn't even seen the source material. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the best part. But every artist starts by copying. Oh, like, yeah, like every artist, and or they continue eventually. Yeah, well, there's that. But then a good artist eventually branches out, and you know is honest about their inspirations. So I think that's the difference: is you got better over time. But honestly, I, I was always jealous of your films. I, I always felt like if, if we kind of did more of what you did, we could have made funnier films. I, I just tried to be like, oh, let's just be wacky and weird. Oh, you know, say this weird line. I was like, well, no, if you just thought about it for a few minutes. What is the story of this film, you know? Yeah. Most, most of our film, our films would go, huh? Like, what, what was supposed to be happening? Like, oh, I don't know. Well, we usually were just trying to entertain our friends. And we had seen, you know, we could count the number of films we'd seen on one hand. Not really, but like yeah. we had not really seen very much at all. We were coming from like an improv comedy kind of place, like not, yeah. like, you know, obviously we, we have we had no idea what improv comedy was or how to do it, but we were kind of working from that perspective and we were just trying to be funny. We weren't like concerned with the shots. We weren't sure concerned with like making something of quality. We were just like, well, this will be funny. All right. So that was Kill Buell volume one. Uh, when's volume two coming out, Tim? According to the end credits, soon. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that was how many years ago? At least fifteen years ago, <laughs> least, if potentially you know, more. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it took twenty-five years to come out with the new season of Twin Peaks. So, and we all know how great know. that was. So, all right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, again, that was Kill Buell Volume One, directed by Tim Buell, our good friend. Thanks for watching, and uh, join us next time. <laughs>